G'day, Josh here. And if you haven't logged into NBA Live Mobile since last maintenance, you may not have realized, but the end of the season is coming. Season score has been added to the game. So if you played in season one, you'll have a pretty solid understanding of exactly what this entails. It's very similar to the way it was done in season one. Uh, but it does give us a little bit of information. Uh, we can work out some things based on the way that the season ended last year and some of the dates and information we've been given. If you click on the picture, then you get taken to a blog post on the EA website and it talks about your, uh, your team, your franchise being locked on the 2nd of September. And you can see that that date at the top of the screen there, the final lineups, the countdown, we've got three weeks and five days left until those, uh, till your NBA and classic lineup are locked. And based on what happened last season, based on what happens in some of the other EA Sports uh, mo uh, mobile titles, such as Madden and FIFA, then that's probably going to be about it. There might be one, maybe two more days of gameplay. Then the game will shut down for a couple of days, two, maybe three days, and then the new season will hopefully launch. Fingers crossed, as if you remember back to the start of this season, there were a couple of hiccups and the season launch did get delayed a little bit. But if everything goes according to plan, based on the dates that we've got, I expect that the new season of NBA Live Mobile, uh, the 18-19 season or season three as we'll probably end up calling it, should be around September 5th, September 6th, September 7th, somewhere around that vicinity. We'll be logging into a brand new game. We'll be redeeming our season score tickets for new content and we'll be starting the grind all over again. So for those of you that haven't gone through a season reset before in a sports game like this, uh, you won't, you'll, let's just, I gotta remind myself what you, what you keep. You won't lose your NBA cash. So I don't have a heap of that at the moment. I've been spending it on stamina and cheap packs in the store. So I've got 176 NBA cash that will carry over. Uh, so if you got a chunk of that, there's probably no point to spend it at this point in time. Just save it for next season. The league that you are in will also carry over. Uh, all the league ladder resets and the tournament progress and wins and losses, all that resets, everyone's back to zero, but you will still be in the same league and it'll be good to go for the following season. And finally, whoops, that's the screen I'm already in. My team. Finally, your franchise that will carry over in a legacy um, type format, the same way that it was done this season. Uh, if I go to the live events, for those of you that weren't playing in season one, there is a legacy event here. If I click on that, uh, it's free to play and it's using my small ball lineup from last year. So you can see that these are the players that I had locked in at the end of season one. I had that 97 overall Steph Curry. I think he was from the NBA finals program. I had fan favorite Penny Hardaway. In case you didn't know, spoiler warning, Penny Hardaway is one of my favorite players, but if you've been watching my videos, you definitely know that. Uh, he was from grinding uh, leagues in season one. We've got that Julius Irving, who was a summer courts master. A ton of grinding went into unlocking him. I've got the rookie master, Ben Simmons, from way back at the start of season one, but Ben Simmons is my favorite active player, given that he's an Aussie and he's just a freakish talent. And then Joel Embiid, who I also enjoy as well. That was a team of the week or I think it was a team of the week uh, player there. So that's the legacy type events that will carry on into season three with the NBA and classic lineups that you save. It's not, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that the rewards you earn from those events won't be significant. This season, it, it was just tokens that went towards unlocking and training a Dirk Nowitzki car that was quite good in the first half of the season, but as he capped out at 94 overall, once your franchise had moved past that, he wasn't really that relevant, but it was a free player, uh, so it was really good, uh, and hopefully we get something similar. that You get this free player uh, that's quite handy and useful early on, and then as you move past it, it, it no longer becomes an issue, but it's still is fun every now and again to just go and play a, a free two minute quarter with one of your old lineups from season one if you were playing in season one uh, so the other thing that I want to show you guys is the season score screen 
You can see here that I currently have 133 out of 200 tickets. So I've got some work to do. I can definitely improve on that. Uh, my team is based on your franchise overall. If you can get it to 110, you'll get the maximum number of tickets, which is 65. That's pretty crazy getting up to 110, but it does look like ho higher and higher overall players are coming out as the season uh, draws to a close. Then we've got the level that you're at. Uh, Last season, I believe the levels capped at 50 and it was quite easy to get there early on in the season. Uh, this year, that was doubled to 100 and obviously it's not that easy to get there. I'm currently level 69. I've been grinding a fair bit. I don't mind the fact that I probably won't get to the very end. Uh, the season score last year was much more achievable, but then it kind of just got to be boring once you'd ticked all the boxes and, and achieved everything you could. Whereas at least this season, for the next four weeks, there'll be always something that I can grind for to get a few extra tickets here and there. Uh, then we've got objectives. That's just uh, completing your daily objectives 20 times, I believe, which clearly I've done. NBA showdown, play 100, or maybe it's win 100 showdown quarters. Obviously, I've done that too. Leagues, this one's a little bit interesting. It hasn't tracked any of your historical wins and it's maxing out at 75, which we clearly don't have enough time for that with only four weeks left in a season. So I'm guessing that's a bit of a bug there and that is something that I've passed on to EA, so hopefully they can address that. Uh, the other bug, so I'm just gonna skip to achievements, is this one here. I've finished all my achievements except one live event, one which is always on when I'm asleep, so I just don't have the ability to play it, and that's clearly not correct. So those two leagues and achievements are definitely bugged out. I have passed that on to EA, so hopefully they address that. Uh, then we've got your seasons. So I've already won five seasons, so the top half is done, but I do need to grind out another 22 season game wins, which I will do. I'm actually just auto-playing those. Uh, it's pretty, you're not doing too well if you're can if you auto-playing and losing season games. It probably means you need to improve your franchise a little bit, but most people should be able to auto-play season games or win, no worries. Uh, sets, I actually don't have the number, but it's just completing a certain number of sets. Live events, I think it's a thousand live events, but if you've been playing throughout the season, that's also that should also be done by now. And then finally, the program. Uh, I actually don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's to do with the promos that have been coming out possibly live events slash sets and maybe even masters, I'm not sure. Uh, if someone can inform me what that one is in the comments down below, that would be great. But as you can see there, I've already got that one done. And that's about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions related to the way that this season ends or things you should be focusing on, let me know in the comments below. But essentially, just to recap, your NBA cash carries over, your franchise will be locked and playable in a legacy type capacity, but essentially you'll be starting over building a new franchise. You will remain in the league that you're currently in if you're in a league, but all progress will be reset for everyone across the board. Just have fun with these final four weeks. Whatever your end goals are, make sure to work towards them, whether it's getting the max number of season score tickets, whether it's having the highest overall uh, franchise, whether it's building your perfect uh, theme franchise. For me, uh, if we take a quick look at my team, I'm just gonna take through players that either I like or a card that sort of meant something to me throughout the season, so to speak. Maybe it's a card that uh, is rare. Maybe it's a card that took a bit of effort to get. Uh, things like that. Definitely going to be taking a Ben Simmons through. That goes without saying. Uh, I'll obviously be taking that Penny Hardaway through, given that he has my name on the back and he's golden. It looks unreal. Uh, and that's about it, guys. So, yeah, just under four weeks left of regular season gameplay. Make the most of it, have fun. Don't stress too much about the reset. It happens in sports games. It just is what it is. The game would get so boring and stale if it didn't happen. Um, the, the, the whole point of these games isn't the end result. It's the fun you have earning your or earning all the stuff that gets you to the end of the season. So that's basically it. As I said, leave any questions or concerns you've got in the comments below. If you haven't gone through a season reset before uh, and you've got any queries, let me know. Happy to help you out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it was informative. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the latest NBA Live Mobile news.